the Facebook. So Facebook lab code agents, uh, hang tight here. I'm starting a new TikTok uh, because of course that's what we're talking about today. Whamma. Um, so welcome. This is another uh, webinar. This is the real estate mastery series that Tristan and I do twice a month, but we don't always broadcast in lab codes, but today we thought we would because this topic is getting so much popularity and so much conversation, good and bad. And there's no right or wrong. It's uh, but we're going to tell you why we like it and why we think it's important. And, and I'm going to start Tristan because this, uh, this topic today inspired me to actually create a video this morning that I called, it, it did. I, I created one for business video school called make or break. And what I want to tell you guys who are on today is that, Video and social media will not make or break your business. It will, let's put it, it will not break your business. If you're doing stuff right now that works and that's what you like doing and you want to continue doing it in perpetuity, do it. But video and social media, things like TikTok can make your business. It can take your business to a whole nother level. And I'm living proof of it. And I'm happy to share that anytime with anybody. And so anybody who says, if you're not doing video, you're not doing social media, it's going to make or break you. That they're wrong. It's not going to necessarily break you, but it can make you. And so if you want to evolve and you want to grow, this is why we share this stuff. Because we're, as Tristan knows, we get a lot of haters on TikTok. Uh, and TikTok's not going to make or break your business, but it can certainly take it up a notch uh, because the content is getting tons of eyeballs. So uh, Tristan, anything to add to the, to the intro? Dude, there's a, there are a lot of things to add on top of that, but but I think let's just get started. If you don't like TikTok and, and you hate it, you're probably not here. <laughs> just, just go to Instagram, right? There's, we're not telling you to go to TikTok. We're saying just go on social. That's right. And if you, if you want to learn more about TikTok, then hang in with us. We've got 200 people on the webinar and 100 people watching on, on Facebook here. So let's get right into it, man. Okay, cool. Do you see my uh, screen? Do you see why so popular? Is that what you're saying? I see why so popular and it looks a little bit TikTokish. It is TikTokish. So let's real quickly just break this down. So for anybody who, who literally doesn't know what TikTok is, uh, Tristan, you go ahead and take this slide. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right. So TikTok's been on a rampage. And for those of you who don't, who don't know what TikTok is, first, let me simplify it and say, it's a social media platform that involves mostly making videos under a minute, mostly 15 seconds, that include music or ad-libbing. And we'll, it, we'll show you examples so you don't have to kind of figure that out on your own. We'll show you both how to use it for real estate and we'll show you how to use it for just regular influence and how other people are using it. Now with that, TikTok has grown from the idea of stories. So if you're familiar with stories, stories started with Snapchat, then Instagram took stories and said, look what we can do. And then stories started growing from there. Now TikTok said, wow, these short stories from Snapchat and Instagram, there's something there because the consumer is, is, is taking this, this short type of media and going all at it because you look at Instagram, they're at about 600 million stories a day, 600 million stories in a day. And stories are just short excerpts of what's going on in your life, whether it's in a video or a picture. Now, TikTok said, this is cool. Let's put it onto steroids and say, let's blow it up. Let's be able to add music or ad libbing or, or different filters and, and different other great stuff like stickers and it's just, it's just all in on, ster on the steroids, on the stories. <laughs> and so that, that's what it really is here. You can see they have 800 million monthly users worldwide. In the United States, we, we tried to find the number and it's between, it says 30 million at the bottom there, but it's between 30 million to 40-ish million just in the United States. And it's growing rapidly. Uh, and so you see here the numbers and people often get mistaken and say, well, everybody on TikTok is under 13 years old, right? And so that trend has been going upwards. Now you have, it was the case, obviously people in high school and middle school did start using TikTok most. And 
but that's really the case for most social media platforms. They started with a younger crowd. Now you can see here, as everyone else is adopting it, we're starting to see it grow into more of the mid twenties and higher twenties. Though that's a new, that's a new dem demographic that this is really taking on, and that's important for us because this is the way that media is being consumed. And the second part of this is Facebook, Instagram, same thing, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and everybody else out there that's a social media platform is paying attention to TikTok because they understand the progression of what, what social media is. And right now, it's really these short excerpts of, of consumable media. And YouTube's like, wow, we want to do the same thing. Anything I missed on this, Jeff? No, I think that's excellent. And, and to, um, to answer the question that we get from so many people is, is I just don't understand it. And, and so obviously we share these statistics with you for a couple of reasons. One, uh, because of its rapid growth, uh, because, and I'm gonna share with you on this, actually, I'm gonna show you a couple more statistics here. Uh, the rapid growth tells you that it's something you should be paying attention to because the history of social media tells us that the other platforms that were on the same trajectory, actually not even quite as fast as this trajectory, is they are massive players today. And the earlier you adopt and the earlier you get on, the better likelihood that you have of making an impact within that app. But what I will also say to anybody who, again, continues to say, it's just not my demographic on TikTok, which as Tristan said, it's starting to become that way and it's continuing to grow. Uh, the largest demographic in the US is 18 to 24. Uh, that's a good demographic to be targeting right now if I'm a realtor, uh, but using the TikTok content, which I, I kind of outlined it here, uh, it's short form mobile videos. And that is the way of the world. That is the way of the future. That is what Facebook and YouTube and Instagram are all integrating into their platforms, which is 15 second content. There's a reason why stories are so popular and becoming even more popular because it's a 15 second clip. There's, there's a trend there, folks. Pay attention to it. And TikTok has that figured out. And so when you're creating TikToks and posting them back to Instagram and Facebook, those posts are, 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 are more liable to get a larger, more eyeballs. They're going to get seen more often. And the name of the game on social media is to gain more eyeballs, which creates more opportunities. And so when you're creating TikTok, if you, if you get familiar with it and people see that watermark, they know that it's A, going to be short and B, probably going to be somewhat entertaining because you can, you can take, and, and we're going to show you a bunch of people you can follow. You can take the videos that they're creating on real estate and mortgage, and you can go on Facebook and go live or do a video and a talking head, and everybody's tired of that. Like, that's overdone anymore, right? It's hard to gain attention. But if you can do the same message in a short 15 to 60 second con you know, uh, video through TikTok where you can get creative, that is, that is going to get you eyeballs. I just posted yesterday, we just got a clear to close on uh, a deal that was generated from Instagram off of a TikTok. And I've had people ask me, do you think you would have gotten that same lead had it not been a TikTok video? And the answer is, I have no idea. All I know is the person that commented on my TikTok and said, I need to talk to you. And it was on Instagram. And so the stuff works, man. And that's what I'm trying, that, that's what we're trying to convey. Uh, like I said in the beginning, it's not going to make or break your business, but having the familiarity and understanding it, and we're going to share with you guys a bunch of examples of agents and professionals and mortgage people you should be following who are absolutely crushing it and it's having an impact on their business. It's up to you if you want to be one of those people. We're just going to tell you and show you how and why. Or how and why. Uh, so I think, I think this speaks for itself. You're welcome to take a picture of this screen, uh, but really quickly, it's short for a mobile video, 15 to 60 second content. Uh, you can use licensed music on TikTok, which is something you can't do anywhere else. Uh, there's millions of songs you can use. The editing features are amazing. They're very advanced and it's all somewhat simple. It does take some time to learn it. Uh, there's tons of filter options. Hashtagging is very critical. Uh, you need to learn what's trending. We're gonna talk about that. And then the types of videos that you can do with duets and trends. Like TikTok is built around copycat, which is the other beauty of it. It's built around taking what somebody else did and redoing it your own way. You're literally copying it. It's not rocket science, folks. That's what TikTok is built on. Real, real quick, Tristan, before we uh, start showing some examples, I just wanted to share this. Uh, we've seen these stats. I know, Tristan, you've seen them. Some of you on this call might have seen them, but it just exemplifies what we've already said. It is trending up. 
and it's probably not going anywhere. This concept of 15 second content through TikTok is the future. And this, these stats just totally exemplify that. So um, I think unless you've got anything else on that, Tristan, I think we're going to, we're going to dive in, in into the app here in a second, but I'm going to let you, uh, you comment if you have anything. I think that's good, man. I was just doing a little uh, story on Instagram there. So perfect. I'm so, glad you brought that up here. All right, awesome. <coughs> so before I turn it over to you, Tristan, on your uh, take over your phone on this, on this presentation, and we're going to show you guys, like I said, a bunch of people. I have a presentation already built out because I, I teach, I've, I've been speaking more on TikTok. A lot of people have been asking me to, to speak on it. So I actually created this. I'm not going to play any of these for you because we're actually going to get into the app. But I'm going to show you an example of what I did. And so I've created TikTok content, A, around real estate. So I've created a, a variety of TikToks just literally around uh, real estate. They're, they're basically teaser videos. And I'm going to skip through these rather than playing them. Um, Let's see here. So, well, I, actually, Tristan, can you hear this? Let me let me play one. I heard that really quick. When you All right. So then, let me go back. Then, uh, then we'll start with me, and then we don't have to do me on the um, on the app. So this is just an example of, of of a TikTok for real estate. And remember, how do I use it for real estate? If it's only fifteen seconds, that's not enough time to showcase a property. You are one hundred percent correct. It's the perfect time to tease a property. It's the perfect time to to create FOMO. It's the perfect amount of time to create intrigue. That's the point. And again, remember why you're using social media. You're using it to gain eyeballs uh, to your brand. And so this is just some examples. I'll show this first one here. This is, I'll show you uh, several in real estate, a, a mortgage one, and I've got a couple others that I'll show you real quick. So here you go. go. So part of my, my purpose on something like that is branding. So I'm, I'm giving you quick snips of a house, which is an awesome house, by the way, but I'm also branding myself. I'm popping into every scene. That's kind of my point. When I do video, I'm branding myself less than selling a property. Uh, so that's how I use it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, show you, I'll show you another example here. I got creative like on this. So I'll show you two here. This one's very basic. This is a basic TikTok for real estate. Dancing in the kitchen in the pale moonlight Only care in the world is that my kids are alright Daddy loves mama and mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again So smile and make baby take my breath away With the good Lord that's it. And let me also point out to everybody watching who doesn't understand TikTok, that takes le less than five minutes to create, probably less than that. That is another advantage to TikTok is you can create a cool little teaser video for a property with text, with music in less than five minutes. Or you can get a little bit more creative and do something like this. This is what I call the garage door symphony. Oops, go backwards here. <laughs> it's you know you can get so creative with this stuff and again it was i honestly i thought i want to use top gun because i love top gun and how can i use it to kind of tease a house and that's how i did it so I, again we're just trying to show you guys some examples today uh, i'll move on here this is a simple one i've got a million of them uh, and tristan i will say this several times throughout this uh webinar the one of the things we recommend to you guys, and we're going to say this when Tristan shares his screen, is that familiarize yourself with the platform. And by familiarizing yourself with the platform, it's go follow people that are doing it at a high level. We're going to give you about 10 people to, ch to choose from, or all of them. I recommend it. Um, obviously, I'm one of them. I encourage you to follow me. I actually create way more authentic content than I do business content. That's just my brand. So it depends on you as the individual. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead here. These are all real estate. Uh, mortgage brand content. Let me show you an example there. Just get super goofy. And that was my way of displaying. That was my way of displaying the rates had dropped. Here's another one about what the market's doing. about the extent of me dancing. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so that's mortgage examples. We're going to show you some other ones. Here's a few more. I've got a ton. I'm going to skip through. Uh, I, I create TikTok around events. Just like... There's nothing to it. It's that simple. There's really nothing. I mean, literally, everybody could be creating this right now. Uh, I do culture. Uh, so this is just another example. You guys have probably seen this. This is the, the drink pass. We did them with a bunch. Of, we did three different ones for all of our people. get the point I'll move on there and then of course I did some work from home stuff it's a way of kind of a, you know again showing off your family that, that one did really well of course because it has my daughter in it um, I'm gonna stop there Tristan I'm gonna stop the share so we can take you can take over the uh, a screen share I, I didn't mean to inundate everyone, but I, since I had them built into the presentation, I forgot good. to show me first. Let me, uh, let me just grab this from you. I'm going to share. I'm going to go through the process of creating a TikTok account, kind of like what the things you need to look for. So now that you have some examples from there, we're, we're going to get into more examples as well. I want to take you through the back end of TikTok just to show you the things you need to be doing that are simple uh, and just things that you need to start off with. Let me see if we have any questions that we may have missed. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm replying to one right now. So copyrights on music, the answer is TikTok owns the rights, which is why you can use it. And so because there's a watermark of TikTok, when you play it back to Facebook or Instagram, it doesn't mute you. So as anybody knows, if you play a copyrighted song on Facebook, they mute you. They don't do that when it's in a TikTok. That's, the, that's one of the beauties of TikTok and why I love it. And you can see I play a bunch of 80s music in, in my um, kind of dating myself, but that's that's my preference of music right there and and yes uh, you already responded to ellen it is free uh karen we just mentioned that no music rights uh go ahead justin i don't think there's any other questions all right well let's get to this here this is this is the profile section this is the first thing you need to do after you open up a free account you need to go here and you would need to edit your profile if you edit your profile you have some options here first of all Choose a name. I, I know I've seen names between uh, like your name. Let's say it's just Jeff Fitzer mortgage person or the mortgage king Jeff Fitzer or real estate agent slash your name or something along those lines to identify who you are if you want to use something just besides your name. Obviously, I just went with my name, right? Then you would go over to bio and just change your bio so you can so people can at least identify who you are and what you do, right? And then uh, it doesn't always give you the website option. Uh, if it does give you the website option, go ahead and put in a website to where either people can search for homes or people can find out more about you. And then do yourself a favor. Also add your Instagram account and your YouTube account right there. Hey, Tristan, real, real quick, while you're on this page, um, yes, you sign up as a personal account. Uh, there, I wouldn't call it real estate ads so much, um, Eileen. It's, 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 it's content. You're creating content here. Uh, no different than you would on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, so yes, they're all personal accounts as far as I know. And, and uh, use the same name as IG, somebody Kelsey asked. The answer is yes, as, as consistent as you can remain across all platforms. Keep right. your name as consistent as possible because it makes you easier to find. We talk about this on other social media uh, webinars where you see somebody who says, you know, Malibu real estate agent uh, as their IG name, but your client or your potential client or, you know, somebody who's following you knows you as Tristan Ahumada. Well, that doesn't help. It, it's not easy to find Malibu real estate agent when they're looking for Tristan Ahumada. So always try to use your name as your profile as close to it as you can. Um, and then the other question was another music one, which do you choose your music on TikTok? 100%. You can yeah. search anything and everything um and it has like i said literally millions of options all right and we'll get into that one so right here on the profile page once you enter your instagram account you see the little instagram logo right there if you click on it it pops up instagram and youtube and you see my name on both is the same so like jeff said 
do your best to keep the names the same on all accounts so it's easier for people to find you. And if they click there, it would take you to my Instagram. Now, as you go through, we're gonna give you some examples of the things that you can do for real estate and just to keep it fun and personal. I don't dance like Jeff, right? That is just not something I do. And that's okay, just to show you the differences. And I'm gonna show you Jeff's account too, but first thing, do me and Jeff a favor so that we get more followers and also yourself a favor. Follow us so you're able to see the things that we do. So we can inspire you to do different things and better things. Number one is, I'm gonna go and show you one I did for real estate specific. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you, but before I do, I wanna show you what I did. I grabbed the front screenshot on Redfin of the property, and then I went into the virtual tour, the virtual tour through Matterport, and I copied a couple of pictures and I put them in the background, and that's all I did. And this one got 700 views here. Let me show you what you're missing. That's how easy it is. You see how simple that was? That was less than 10 seconds. And I got a lot of love on that one. And so you can see then there's a mix. If you want to teach people, you can teach people like, like what I did this morning. I just posted this one up. If you want to change your behavior, then I suggest you use Dr. BJ Fogg's behavioral model, where he says three things need to be present. Number one, you need to have the motivation. Number two, you need to have the ability. And number three, you need to have a prompt. And so that, one, that one's 40 seconds long. I just posted it, but then you could, you look to see what you can do and teach those that are on this to purchase property, about credit report, about lending. You start then mixing it with both so that people can, can laugh like uh, for this one. Do you know who I am? No, I, I can't say that I do. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Really? Do you know? So we try to mix it up like that so <laughs> we, can, we can really attract people to follow us and then start learning. And if you don't have any idea what to do, Remember, follow Tristan, me, and then follow Jeff. I'm gonna, Jeff, I'm gonna find you right now, just so people can. Okay. Well, yeah. while you're doing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer some questions. So, uh, the Linda asks, is the video, the voice and video, out of sync? I think what you're talking about, and I think uh, Karen had the same question about voiceovers. What you're doing when you do a video like that? First of all, there's probably a lag um, because of the internet. That's probably the issue here. If you actually go watch those videos, Tristan probably synced it up pretty well. But when when you do a video like what Tristan did, which is very popular on TikTok, you're mouthing the words to the sound. That's all you're doing. Uh, you're just mimicking it. And sometimes it might take you 15 takes to get it right. And sometimes you might nail it on the first try. Uh, but that's, you can create original content. You can create copycat content. You can do duets. You can do anything you want. I mean, again, and we'll, we'll digress here for a second and kind of show you guys the, the, the nuts and the bolts of inside of this. This is not a webinar to train you on how to do TikTok, like that would be that's that's complicated. Yeah. But what we want to do is just we want to familiarize you, familiar familiarize you all with TikTok, so that you can start watching, start playing around, and we'll show you how to do that. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll run one too, just so people yeah. can in the process. But here's Jeff's account. You can see Jeff's been on it for a little bit longer, so he's got a few more followers than me. Here, so you click on let's say this one. <laughs> All, all this was, was a video. I was, we were just, that was a snake in the yard. That's it. I videoed it. I didn't even put music to it. Uh, there's nothing to it. It was just, I knew it would probably gain some eyeballs because it was, look at 716 likes. Cause there's that's a, a lot, man. I love <laughs> that's, that. That's crazy. Or go back. I'll show you another example over the weekend. Um, was my, was my birthday. That one? Uh, no, go back. That one? Uh, no, next one. That one. Wait, that yeah. one. This one, yeah. I, I can actually, tell you. Hold on, that's actually how I found out it was your birthday. 
by the way. <laughs> I watched it. I was like, oh, crap, it's his birthday. I go, dude, is it your birthday today or tomorrow? That's funny. That's funny. Well, and, and I will tell you guys, we were on our boat that day, and we heard that song, and I was like, ooh, that'd be a really good TikTok. Uh, that would be fun. So I'm going to go see if they have the music. Sure enough, they had the music. And so we created our own TikTok to it. And, uh, you know, my family, my kids and I have a lot of fun with it. It's, it's, I've, I've told people since day one when I was getting criticized on TikTok, if nothing else, I'm creating amazing memories with my family. Because my teenagers, this is what they're doing. And so this, since dad's doing it, they, at first they, they, you know, were like, oh, gross. But now they've, they've adopted it. And it's like, this is fun. Who can come up with the most creative TikTok in That's our family? So and we, yeah, we just have fun with it. All right, so now let's say you like this song. So let's get right into it, Jeff. I'm gonna play the song a little bit longer to explain to people how to choose a song. So I'm gonna play it for a few seconds. I'm like, dude, I like this song. I wanna use it for a TikTok. Now you see at the very bottom, very, very bottom, right above add comment, it's starting to scroll the name of the song. And if I wanted to use this song, all you have to do is click that section and it takes you to that song. And it also shows you everyone else that's played with that song as well, starting with the most likes all the way down. And so it even says, well, do you wanna use this sound right there? But let's say you're not sure what I would do is if I really like this song, I would add it to my favorites. You see here, it says under whiskey glasses, add to favorites. Now it's added. Now I can use it at a later time. But let's say I want to use it right now, Jeff. I'm going to go ahead and click on use this one. And I can record myself. If I press record, it would play the song at the same time. And in the background, I can do whatever I want. So let's let's just roll with it to show you. And now it's done. It just shot for a few seconds. If I press check mark, then I can go and edit. Then I, that's where I can edit and add words to it. If I messed up, I just press the little X button. And start so, to click. Don't, don't, don't confirm that yet. So hit cancel. And then now flip your camera around and do a, se a separate segment. You know what I mean? Now let's do it. Yep. So yep. continue it. Then it continues to do that. Now I can flip it back. And now it's done. I'm going to save it, man. I'm going to put it as a draft. Let's say you go to the next section. You see bottom left? Jeff and I use this all the time when we create short TikToks. We're like, we might be able to use this later. And we would just click on that draft button. And now it's ready to go. Now we continue. We scroll so, through. So, so, go go, so go to your me now and show them. So somebody asked if I create a video, but I don't want to post it right now. How do I do that? And so what he just did was he saved it in his draft. So go to your me button, bottom right. So you see the five sections at the bottom, home, discover, plus sign, inbox, and me. Me is you. That's where all of your stuff is saved. That's where all of your videos are. That's your profile. So you see now I have seven drafts as the first choice right here. Click on it. And then I have the whiskey glasses one here. I could use it again, and then I could start to describe the video, add some hashtags, and, and then post it if I wanted to. Or I could go back to it and, and really back, 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 check it out. I'm like, oh, that's right. That's what it was like, right? Or I can go back, back to it and edit back, right there. Back, 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 or I can draft it again. Click draft. Now it's done. Let's go through the bottom section so people understand what those five things are. You good with that? Enough. Good, great idea. All right, so let's start with the home button. On the left, you're gonna have home button. You need to have I'm gonna pause that. Uh, this is your, you have two options. At the top, you have those that you're following. So if I'm following Jeff, if I'm following other influencers out there, those are the ones that's gonna pop up under my following section at the top. Now for you, 
for you is based on those things that, that you like a lot, based on who you are age-wise or what area you're in. This is TikTok trying to figure out what you like, right? Based on whether you're male or female or age. Now, if I go on for you, I can scroll, I can scroll up or down depending on, on where I'm at. Hey y'all, it's Ashtray. See, I can and go I'm through, I can go through. That guy's one guy that I actually follow. It's a funny guy. Uh, anyway, here, so, let's go ahead. So let me explain something on this. So following is following. It's very simple. It's who you follow. And we're going to tell you guys, we're going to give you a bunch of examples of who you should be following for business. Uh, for you, for you is, is all about what the algorithm thinks you like. So if you, uh, hey guys, if you get stuck watching women dance around, guilty, uh, guilty as charged, um, the algorithm is going to continue to show you that stuff. So if you don't want that showing up on your For You page because your wife's going to kick your ass, well, then you better stop watching it. You better just scroll past it faster. Um, or, or for me, I'm a golfer, so I engage a lot of golf posts. And so uh, I get a lot of golf stuff on my For You. But so For You is not you determine, it's you determining it based on what you engage with, what you like, what you sit and watch over and over and over again. It's just FYI on that. I love that, man. Well, yeah, this is like your... This would be your main feed, right, for you. This is where you scroll through and try to discover those people that are going to inspire you. And this way you can also figure out, well, how can I start using TikTok based on what I'm learning here? And that really, Jeff, that's how I learned it. I was scrolling through and I'm like, oh, you know what? This guy, this guy actually, the real Rahul Rai, I'm like, this guy, I can be like this guy. So I started following him. I'm like, a lot of the stuff that he does, I like. And I think it, it could really relate to my audience. So I follow him as I scroll down. One thought of the day. I'm tired of sucking at golf. So I decided to do what I do best. And there you go. Somehow, golf. All right. somehow it thinks that I'm you, Jeff. <laughs> <Weird. laughs> well, as I scroll through. I don't get it. We keep getting these prayers about COVID. Bro, didn't you kill it like a toad? You notice that I watch a lot of news, Jeff. <laughs> I do, I do. Well, and I think they get, I, so I think they get the point here. So following and for you, those are, that's what that is. Uh, so now let's go uh, to discover. the this discover, correct. Which is where, this is where hashtags come into play and also music. Go ahead, Tristan. Perfect, man. No, that's exactly what Jeff said here. It'll start with what the most popular ones are. You see here, hashtag black music. It's got 65 million posts right now, those hashtags and it's trending. If I would click on it, let's say I click on this one. And so it, it shows me where those hashtags are being used. And since it's trending, it's also something that TikTok says, well, hey, guess what? If you use this, we're gonna also alter the alg algorithm so that it starts trending for you as well. This is why it's important and you scroll through and you see everything that's trending and you can start getting better ideas as to what to do, maybe what sounds to use based on those that are trending as well. Correct, so yeah, so what Tristan's saying here is that trending hashtags are what everyone is searching. Now, when it comes to hashtagging, we've heard varying opinions on this and I'm not sure that anybody actually knows the right answer because one of the trending hashtags that a lot of people use is uh, hashtag for you page or hashtag FYP. And I've heard some people say it's useful and some people say that it's not. So it kind of depends on what your goal is. If you're getting on a TikTok and you really just want to go viral because it's, it helps your ego, well then use trending hashtags. If you're going on TikTok because you truly want to uh, create a lot of content around your career, AKA real estate in this case for most of you, then I would use specific hashtags to watch what the video is about. So hashtag realtor, hashtag real estate, hashtag whatever the, whatever the video is about. Um, and so it's up to you. There is no, I don't think there's a necessarily a right or wrong answer. You're going to get varying opinions here, uh, but you got to decide why you're on TikTok and what you want to use it for. And we've also been told don't over hashtag. Well, first of all, you can't, it only lets you do so many hashtags, but uh, we've been told um, um, of a, at least one and a maximum of five. So that's well, just dude, one thing. I just hashtag real. I just searched the hashtag real estate agent. Let's take a look at the first three. There you go. Baby, 
That's really good. One. That's really good. I, I like that. I might <laughs> use that one. I like that one. I just need to find a, a, a fat wad of cash to throw in the end. I'm missing there. All right. Let's check. take a look at this one. I like this one too, man. Good engagement. Yep. I like yep. that. Yep. And let All me right. say, let me say before you scroll, uh, this is a copycat app. So don't be afraid to copy. Remember, our audiences are all very different. So if you literally copy exactly what I did, that's okay. That's, 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 that's not frowned upon. That is actually acceptable on TikTok. So don't be afraid to do it. That's what it's all about. Correct. All right, let's go to the next one. And then let's just... Dude, that is such a simple one. Nothing to it. Look at the subject line. What 500,000 to get you in Texas. And then you see the hashtags for you, Houston, real estate, luxury, FYP, for you page, and real estate agent. And then let's take a look at Daisy. Her name's Daisy Daniels. Let's take a look at Daisy. Dude, that's pretty respectable. 49,000 followers. That's fantastic. And look at what she posts. Yep. Just properties. Yep. How that's sick is that? And yep. not that many either. Nope, that's crazy. But, but look at that. Look at that. Look at the freaking eyeballs she's getting. I mean, that's just that. You Dude, can't just, buy that. 1.6 million. I want to see this one. Look at her. Hey, pause that. Look at her hashtags, FYP, for you page, hashtag home, hashtag for you, so for you page, hashtag real estate. That's how simple, Ooh. that's how simple this can be. That is easy. And let's say you really like this one, and I do. I think this is a great example of us when we're on a broker tour or MLS tour or just doing an open house. I'm going to, I'm actually going to copy this one and use it later. So I'm going to press that little forward arrow button on the bottom right. I'm going to click it and I'm going to either save the video, see save or favorite. And I'm probably going to favorite it. There you go. I favorite it. I won't forget it. If I need to go find it, I'm just going to take them really quick so that they remember where to go, Jeff. Yep. I love it. I'm going to go back to me, back to my main page. You say the bottom right me. And here are my favorites at little uh, bookmark section. Oh, Click ribbon. it. And now it gives me choices, videos, hashtags, sounds, and effects. I these, are, effects but. these are all the things that he's saved, which, which is something, which is a, literally a strategy of TikTok. So people ask, somebody asked how much time you spend on TikTok per week. And I don't have an answer to that because it just depends on how much time I have. But sometimes I literally go to TikTok just with the intent of finding five to 10 examples that I can get creative with and turn them into TikToks. And I'll save them as videos, save them as sounds, and I'll go back to them later when I have time to create. That's, that's the name of the game. That's it, bro. That's the key, I think, saving. What we need you to do right now is, for, for the few hundred people that are watching, is we need you to be spies. If you're not on TikTok right now, go on TikTok and be a spy. That's how I started this. I'm like, okay, who can I be like, right? And I really gravitated to this guy right here just because I like his style, Jeff. Take a look at this guy, okay? Which, which guy? This guy. Advice <laughs> for writing and life from James Clear. When you're making plans, think big. When you're making progress, think small. That's it. it. That's it. And yep. this, guy, this guy's got 300,000 followers and he just gives little tips like that. So that's a great example, folks, of, of again, one of the objections we hear about TikTok is it's all about dancing. Well, no, it's not. And this is a great example of that. It's, it's about what you want it to be. So let's use Sharon Shubatsa as an example. If anybody who knows Sharon knows that he's actually not the most creative dance around, come up with uh, this funny content type of guy. He's a motivational guy. So he, create his, he creates his TikTok around that. Me, I like to be fun and creative and goofy. So I built my TikTok around that and I sp sprinkle in business. Tristan's the opposite. It's more business and he sprinkles in fun. Be you. You decide who you want to be. And this really applies to all 
uh, platforms, by the way. That's true, dude. And how easy is it to just grab a property and do some something on it? I, oh, you saw so that easy. a million views off of just doing a walkthrough. So easy. I was I was really insane. I suggest you know I, I made Jeff do a challenge. I'm not sure if Jeff actually did the challenge, but Jeff, just, re just reminding you. I'll do it. Oh shoot! I'm on TikTok now. Nah, stop. Why? This isn't how you do TikTok. What? Well, I'm doing a TikTok, honey. So this has to be how you do TikTok. Not like this. I'm on TikTok now. You need something. You need to do that. I know. I showed it to my daughters. They're going to do it with me. I got to get creative though so I can one up you. That's, that's, that's. What oh, I'm actually... dude, dude, there's, <laughs> there's some funny things you can do here. Just, there's a lot of stuff you guys can do here. It's all about connecting with that audience that you want, right? That's it. So after the discover page, you've got home, discover, and then you so let's, to... let, let's pause for a second, answer a couple questions real quick. All right, let's do that. Hold on. Let me unshare. Let me go to um oh, we got a ton of questions so actually no go back to the share because and i'll, I'll answer the questions i'll tell you what they are uh, because okay. I, we want to show you the page so for you again just means that's what the algorithm is watching what your activity is and they're going to show you what they think you want to watch based on what you engage with and what you spend time watching it's that simple um somebody asked tiffany asked about her name isn't available that's common that's common on facebook that's common on instagram so use your name tiffany phillips with a number, Tiffany Phillips Realtor, Tiffany Phillips, your city, whatever. Just or the real, the real Tiffany Phillips. That's, that's good as well. Or I am Tiffany, the Phil, Tiffany, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do there. Um, Jennifer asks, once you set up an account, can you change your username? I don't know that answer, Tristan. Yes, you, you okay. can. I did it. My name was, my first name was TikTok Tristan. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should make it the same as everything else. So I changed it. I love it. I love it. Eric asks about a linking to a business page. Eric, I don't think TikTok allows you to. I think it's well, all. Hold on. Actually, linking to a business page in regards to where? When you're posting or on your profile? So the question is, my business name is Beacon Hillcrest, and I have a business page on Facebook and Instagram under the name. Do you recommend my TikTok be under my, oh, no, I'm sorry. Do you just wanted to know, do you recommend my TikTok be under my business name or my personal name? Both. Check this out. You can see at the very top where it says Tristan, if I click down, I just started Lab Code Agents, right? Not very much on there because we just started it to test it out, but uh, I needed to test it out for me first before I figure out what to do with Lab Codes. So definitely have both. And then a different brand that I started with, Jeff, is called Drunk on Social, but uh, I may not push it. So I love it. I love it. Um, let me re let me repeat what we repeat for every webinar. These are always recorded. And anybody, somebody mentioned at the very beginning. I I I um I registered to be on Zoom, but it's also live on Facebook. The advantage to registering to be on Zoom is a we interact with you, and b if you're on it, it means we have your email and we're going to send you the recording. So we will send you this recording. So that is an advantage to watching these on Zoom versus on Facebook. But we put them both places for uh, to cover multiple bases. Uh, let's see what else we got here, Tristan. Uh, can your videos you take be edited to cut parts out? You would have to do that outside of TikTok. Uh, so you you can, by the way, that's a good question. You don't that's have to question. shoot all of your videos in TikTok. I, sometimes I will shoot my videos on my phone because I'm just taking video with my family. That's and a they really good one. Yeah, they turn out so epic that I turn them into TikToks. But well, look, I, I did the same thing with news. Check this one. I got a thousand views on this one. This is not my video. I downloaded it from the internet and then edited it. Yeah. So. Well, that is saying something, given the experience you have covering these protests, Deborah. And it, it sounds like from your experience, you see someone actually walking away with a cheesecake there after the cheesecake <laughs> factory was looted. Unclear where they may have gotten that, but. So that was not mine, but I got it and I used it. I was like, ooh, that, that's pretty good. I, I made me laugh, so I'm going to post it up there. So Sarah, so it was Sarah who had the question. She says, I have, I have two IG accounts. And when I went, when I want to link TikTok to my IG, it forces me to link to my personal IG. I want to link to the one I created for my business. So she wants to know if we have any suggestions on that. I'm not sure if it's possible. You know, right now, from what I've seen, it only allows you to link into, well, well hold on. It, I linked it to my business one. Well, here's, here's what I'll point out to you, all of you guys. Uh, so I, again, I use TikTok. Uh, and I, and to, as a creation method, right? I don't necessarily care. It's fun to go viral and have followers, blah, blah, blah. I use it as, it's like iMovie. 
I use it as a creation tool. And so I create cool stuff and then I post it back. So I don't care about linking. It's fine, link, whatever. But I literally, I have my settings set to when I create a TikTok, it automatically saves it to my phone. So then I go back to Facebook and Instagram and post it as a post. And that is my post. And I just you take yeah. it off of my phone. Okay. You can do it a variety of ways. That's just my way. That's how I do it. Guys, and look, look how easy it is to share it into Instagram. If you, like I, I did this one, okay? The fog, the fog one. Change your behavior? Click on that. Then I suggest you use. Save the video. Yeah, Don't post it in Instagram. Instagram. Save the video. Where he says three things. Look how fast it saves. One, Hopefully it's, my internet's faster. Give me a sec. Two. You need Almost to have there. Ability. Good. And number three. Now, I pause that. I go and open my Instagram. And then I would upload it directly here, right? Right here under stories. I find it, find the video. Except mine takes always a long time, Jeff. I don't know about yours, but my camera roll is so big that it has to uh, take a yeah, long you're, time. You're, while you're saying that, Jennifer had a question. She said they put together a video and I'm assuming I'm assuming, Jennifer, you're talking about you put together a video on TikTok and, and she says it wouldn't allow them to share it on social social platforms. I, I, that, I don't know why I wouldn't. Yeah, um, we just showed you how to do that. Save the video and upload it to wherever you want. Now I can do it, which I actually already did. So I'm not even going to do this here because I just can go show you exactly what I did here. And this, that's how it shows. It already has 45 views in the last, what, 47 minutes. Love it. Tristan, why don't you show them, somebody just asked, show them how they can add text and then how they can adjust the time frame of when it pops up on their video. Perfect. All right. We'll do that and then we'll share the 10, okay? And then we'll yeah. get and then we'll yes. get going. Good. All right, here we go. We're gonna put you know, I'm gonna go to my draft just because it's already there. Okay. Go to my draft again. Go see, I'm here. Go to my drafts. I click on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and go back. The only thing is, it's so loud. I'm going to turn it down, okay? Can you still hear me? Yep. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to continue to shoot here. And right here is when, you, when you're done with it, all right, I'm done with this. I'm going to click the check mark. You see the bottom where it says text? You're gonna type in, uh, this is, let's just show you here. This, this is done. Now I wanna have a background so that you click on that A, now it's that color. I always use that green. Let's click on this. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna click on it. And you see where, when I click on that, it says set duration or edit. I'm gonna click set duration. And we say, well, I want it to pop up right there. And I want it to end right about there. So done. Now I'll go and I wait, this is, and then I can type in the next one. And then I can put cool, right? Easy. This is something uh, I, I, I want to see. Do me a favor and click rewind because this is recorded. Yeah, so, so again, folks, don't get too overwhelmed here. First of all, and, and Lou, thank you for asking. Thank you for asking this question. He asked vertical or horizontal. Vertical, vertical on TikTok, just like Instagram. Um, so great question. But don't get overwhelmed. This is a lot of stuff. There's way too much to share in an hour. The point. Yeah. The point is is familiarize yourself. Start to get comfortable with the app. Start watching it. Start saving stuff. Uh, start playing around with. It. You, you now have learned how to save sounds, how to save videos. You've learned how you can follow people, right? And we're going to give you a bunch of names. I'll include it in the email when we send it out, uh, which will probably be next week. We'll send out this recording, uh, but we'll include those names. So Tristan, let's show them who they should be following. Do you want to pull that back up and we'll give them yeah. those names? So folks, uh, pay attention right now. Either, either get out your phone and take a picture of the screen or um, write these down. So we're going to, we're going to give you some of the, some of our favorite people that we follow both real estate and mortgage related. Uh, so Tristan, we'll start with, I'll give you the names. All right. All right. Let me grab my perfect. All right. First one, CC Underwood, CC Underwood. I think I'm just going to type in Underwood and she'll be here because she's my friend. So let me search users. 
Underwood. Okay, she's under Jack's Real Estate here. That's so what we all all we're doing here, guys, is giving you examples. We're not going to show you videos. We don't have time. So just snap a picture, write it down. CC does a great, great job of tying dancing with real estate. That's what CC is really great at. So all right. That's, so that's CC. The next one would be uh, Lana Rodriguez. Oh yeah, she's really good too. Rodriguez. I hope I spelled it right. You did. She's at she the is. top. It's she's the Lana Rodriguez. She's got a lot of followers. Lana just joined TikTok like right before quarantine, I believe. And she yeah. is exploding. She creates a ton of content, a variety of real estate. She does more personal, kind of like me, and she's really good at it. And she you can see she's gotten Brian, who was an anti-TikToker. Now he's participating. Uh, everybody does. Everybody kind of gets sucked in. So Lana Rodriguez is awesome. Follow her. Uh, next one. Let's let's show them uh, Tanner Ritchie. Oh, I like Tanner. Tanner is one of uh, the ROGs. He is an amazing dancer. So don't let this intimidate you. He is an OG on on TikTok. As you can see, it's all organic growth. Uh, show one of his dancing videos. He's so good. Uh, let me see which one's really good on in front of a property. Oh, you know what? This one's pretty good. <laughs> I, I said we weren't going to show any videos and here we are. Sorry. Um, I, I will tell you, if you go, if you like dancing, you, you go follow Tanner Ritchie and you'll get sucked into his, his channel because he's really good. Uh, the next one, uh, show them uh, Christopher Clow, C L O W. Christopher C L O W. Uh, Chris is an agent on the East Coast. It's all organic. He is different. He's got a different style. But as you can see, if you just scroll his feed real quick, he does a lot of duets. See, look at that. There's, there's a split screen. So he's just copying and, and reacting to another video. And Chris is kind of creative. He's, it's less, it's, he does a little bit of business, but he's just creative. And he's grown 21,000 followers. He's doing really well on TikTok. Oh, this is a great one. This is, this is a trending TikTok right now, folks. This is great. Watch this. <laughs> that was actually good. Isn't that cool? I was wondering what to do. Yep, that's trending right now. So, so that's that one. Uh, and then let's show them a couple of mortgage people. Uh, Scott Bentley which is that mortgage guy. Oh, that mortgage guy. Hold on. That mortgage. The, the, the two mortgage guys we're going to show you are absolutely crushing it on TikTok. 117,000 is yes, insane. Yes. Go watch his videos. You don't have to show one, Tristan, but you can see that uh, most of his content, he takes a really boring topic, mortgage, and makes it creative and entertaining and fun. And, and realtors, you can totally copy this kind of content uh, for yourself. And then the other one is uh, Nate Fain. He's mortgages are boring. There he is. Wow, more than the other dude, 148,000 followers. That's insane. Crushing it. And he also has some very creative content. Uh, he figures out a way to tie it back to business. These guys are awesome. Uh, follow these people. Um, I think we've got, I've got one other one, uh, one more realtor. We forgot about Silly Realtor. Oh, I love Silly Realtor. She's out of uh, Florida. She's my friend here, Silly Realtor. And let me point out, folks, there's a million others. Like, these aren't the only ones. These are just Tristan and I's friends or people that we've been turned on to that are doing a fantastic job. It's a little bit of a variety. Uh, so we just wanted to give you guys, uh, including ourselves, uh, a variety of what's out there. <laughs> so, so she used a filter there, and that was it, – it's – it's remarkably easy once you get the hang of it. Um, so real, so we can wrap up. Let me take a look real quick at uh, if there's any questions. Uh, Lou asks how many per week. Lou, you do what you can do. Uh, I think what you're talking about is posting. The more, the better. The more consistency. Admittedly, I typically po do most of my posting on the weekends because I'm just busy during the week. Uh, so it's just a matter of when you have time. Just just make the time if you want. Um, who was the first one we put up? That was CC Underwood. Her name is CC yes. Underwood. Jack's Jack's Realtor. Jack's Real Estate. Yeah, something like Jax. that. Um, 
So let's see here. I have multiple IG accounts. How do I link my real estate account, not my personal? Just use the one you want. You can link it there. It'll ask you on your profile. Yep. What are you using to share your phone screen on Zoom? Well, that's completely unrelated, but he's using a Mac. And which has I'm that using feature. a Mac and the option for Zoom allows you to share it. Uh, but I can, but I can answer that question. If you don't have a Mac, if you have a PC, I use a, uh, it's called 5k player. Yeah, that's just an option. Uh, we're totally off base here, but uh, 5k player for a PC. Uh, but it. I think, I think that's it, man. Well, dude, we need a part two. I suggest we do this probably either late next week or the following week. And then let's get into some actual building of some content so people can see. I think that's a fantastic idea. And remember, if you're on today, we will share the recording with you. I've, we've got your email from Zoom. We'll email it to you. So thank you guys for being on today, Tristan. This is fun. Thanks, man. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, guys.